Hey, hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video and well done you for wanting to know all the different ways you can be sustainable whilst shopping. This video is going to cover retail shopping, food shopping, any kind of shopping that you do. It's definitely going to cover it. My name is Olin and on this channel, I talk all things fashion, sustainable fashion. I do reviews with the hope of finding gems that will contribute to our sustainable wardrobe that we're trying to all build because it's a journey. It's not a quick fix. It's not a one shop trip kind of thing you can achieve it's going to take some time and that's okay the key is intentionality and partaking in the journey i have six points for you which i think would be quite you know useful good tips for anyone who is mindful of just being plastic free when shopping so let's dive into it number one on my list is using a tote yes do you remember that fabric cotton bag that was somehow frowned upon there was a bit of friction in society towards those people and we want to do our part towards sustainability and that's cool that's good so we all are using totes well at least we should all be because they're great they're actually fun they're reusable they're cotton keep using them but for me take it a step further if you haven't already been doing this use them for food shopping use them for clothes any kind of shopping use them because why not get you a cute one whatever color whatever print you fancy on it your whatever size that works for you if not a tote uh, floppy fabric um cotton fabric one get a canvas one that's a bit structured if you are looking for something a little bit more quirky i used to have an mns one which i eventually gave to my mom but i got that in a hamper and because you know mns when you buy something quite large they give you those things or at least they used to yeah i just recycled it it had a thick board at the bottom to hold the structure and it was a rectangular shape it was very cute very very cute bag and it was canvas material very thick uh, a brown and black style and if you get such things keep them reuse them for when you're going out and maybe you don't want to be holding a floppy tote because it's just not working with your outfit those sort of canvas bags are great and if you are in the market for one definitely consider getting them from shops that give you good quality ones when you shop there already instead of buying one just off the back but if you want to buy one of the back, do so, but just make sure you get the most out of it, use it. Speaking of retail shopping, do your best. This is the second point. Do your best to opt for your receipt to be emailed to you instead of it getting printed out. One shop that is the bane of my life is Nando's. Their receipts are always a meter long for a quarter chicken, chips and a salad. I just don't understand why the Nando's receipts are so long. Please look into that Nando's if you happen to watch this video. Uh, my point is, if you're being offered a receipt and they can email it to you, opt for that because it's a better way actually because then you'll never lose that receipt, right? If you're conscious about giving your email out to people, to everyone, then create an email for specifically receipts and that's the email you give out for your receipts and that way you know this is my inbox for all things receipts, for all things online purchases. Yeah, it's a win-win. So you're saving paper, you're saving time by not losing receipts basically and now having to go look for it you can just search third on my list is get to know shops that are doing exchanges for your empty containers mac do it boots do it so they will give you something for free in return for a number a specific number of empty bottles of theirs uh, from you and this is great because you're not just throwing that plastic into the trash hoping that it will get recycled and not end up in Asia or Africa or Turkey you're sure that you know they're gonna reuse it and they are recycling it truly and obviously you're giving it back to the brand we should be trying to recycle it so if they're offering you that why not you can take a uh, Mac empty containers and they'll give you a free lipstick I believe you need to have six Mac empty containers but I know six is a lot you have to be really a Mac user which I'm not but it's great that they offer that service because many people are you know serial users a lot they use a lot of Mac products basically and that's okay so trade them in literally anything anything Mac they can take it in when I say Mac I mean the cosmetic brand by the way not Apple Mac book because <laughs> five Mac books to trade in fourth on my list is buying refillable things so perfume deodorant hand wash 
it's all contributing to reducing the amount of plastic we have on the planet and it's a great way to go in plastic it's a great way to working towards being plastic free but the great thing is you can buy in bulk in plastic and then put it into your chosen container your spray bottle or your dispenser um, that is not plastic and that way you are limiting you're reducing the number of times you're buying plastic as opposed to for example each time you need hand wash you're buying a whole new bottle with a dispenser pump um but when that finishes you're throwing it away and you're buying another one if you always have your own then you're just buying a big bottle of soap once and then you're refilling it it's the same thing with deodorant i have a big two liter bottle of deodorant and i tip it into my spray deodorant bottle when i first bought it and then i found out they have a refill service and i was like oh well, yeah i already have the small bottle so definitely look out for things like that because yep you're playing your part and of course why not because if you can do it in a more effective way then yeah opt for that the last one on my list this is the last one on my list and it is a very much more frugal but i think it's like why not obviously don't go and cause mayhem in society but if you can do this yeah consider it and it is instead of buying plastic bags or maybe your tote wasn't big enough and then you're in Sainsbury's you're in Audi you opt to buy their 20p bag instead why not utilize the boxes of empty things I do this all the time every time I go to do my food shopping I have a bag well, I have plastics they're never quite big enough and instead I end up taking a box from their vegetable section or from their cereal section a box that they're gonna rip up and throw away anyway I'm sure they're gonna recycle but I can do that too but in the meantime it can carry my stuff and we can go home together <laughs> uh, so yeah definitely consider doing that I do it all the time guys and it's fine it's no more like I don't they no one has ever said anything to me so you see a box that probably has one pepper in it or one mushroom or one batch of bananas just remove that put it into the next box that is there and take your box and put it in your trolley and when you're shopping put your stuff in there yeah because then you're buying less plastic the whole point of why plastic bags are now at a fee instead of being free it's because they're trying to put us off buying them so if they have something in their shops that you could use then um yeah use it and then recycle it when you're done with it guys that is all let me know what you think about this plastic free shopping list of ideas because these are all ideas that i pretty much practice and um whilst they may be strange to someone who's not doing it yet it's absolutely normal to refill things it's absolutely normal to reuse things it's absolutely normal everything that i said is i literally practice it in my own lifestyle and um yeah let me know if you do any of these things let me know if there's any others that you do that i haven't mentioned but i thought um yeah let me make a series of these a series of videos talking on a sustainable lifestyle this is basically what the next four videos on this channel are going to be all about if you are new here i am olin and on this channel i talk all things sustainable fashion i review products with the hope of finding those gems i do vlogs i talk on lifestyle so if that's definitely something you're interested in consider all the other videos that i have on my channel and uh, if you're enjoying them if you enjoy i don't know the sound of my voice that sounds so wrong but yeah you you know what i mean i hope <laughs> consider sticking around and subscribing and uh yeah i'll see you in my next video which is sunday 6 p.m and uh yeah stay safe